passionate about helping people who are struggling in their relationships. That could be in a marriage where they're just having trouble feeling seen and heard. It could be someone who's just struggling to see themselves. And we know that when we struggle to see ourselves, we struggle to let anybody else see us. We all have places where we feel really unseen and uncomfortable. And we struggle to connect to ourselves in those places. We struggle to let others in to see those places because there's so much dis-ease and discomfort. And we don't know what to do with that. We don't know how to lean into the unknown and into what's uncomfortable. And so we just stay away from it. What happens when people don't feel seen is that it translates into them feeling like they're not enough. And when they feel like they're not enough, they run around keeping themselves busy in relationships and they don't slow down and give themselves permission to really allow others to connect with them and to connect with themselves. When someone becomes seen and they feel seen, whether and held in the therapeutic relationship, they start being able to do it for themselves. And when that happens, that's where the magic starts and where it becomes this kind of like effervescent bubble that just starts permeating all their other relationships. They start leaning into their lives in a totally different way. And they start being able to not only identify what they want and what they need and where their boundaries are, but also find ways to communicate that that really helps them feel like they see themselves and hold themselves and then the relationships just get held. I'm passionate about this work because it's my journey too. I'm also on this path and we all have these pieces of ourselves, these little children that live inside of us whose needs weren't met when we were little and we don't know how to get those needs met in our relationships until we learn how to meet them for ourselves.